good morning children so again once again we are here with our science chapter respiration in organism that is chapter 10 so here i feel whatever topics we have discussed in the last few sessions they are clear to you okay the questions that we were just dealing with were why do we respire why do we need energy the types of respiration breathing respiratory organs respiratory system in human beings and the mechanism which were related with your process of respiration and breathing and also what do we breathe out that was the topic that we have discussed i hope all these topics were very clear to all of you so children now today we'll start with another topic and that is how do other organisms breathe as you all know there is vast diversity of organisms on this planet earth so it ranges from microorganisms to higher animals and all these have different organs and mechanism of breathing so children we will be discussing about few of these organisms their mechanism of respiration okay so here we will see first point that you can see on your screen is spiracles or the air holes second one is your skin third one is the gills and the fourth one is the lungs so we have got variety of organisms as i said among them few of the organisms that you can see on your screen okay now when you just see here you can see i feel all of you can identify that organism that organism is your cockroach and this cockroach is under your insects among your insects we have many more other organisms such as your grasshoppers dragon fly butterflies etc so we will just discuss how the process of respiration takes place within these cockroaches so here insects such as cockroach have a tracheal system which is running all along their body these openings which are present are said to be spiracles for the exchange of gases since insects are very active so they require more amount of oxygen so this tracheal system provides them with a sufficient amount of oxygen since it is present as i said along their body that means on the sides of their body so it helps them in the process of respiration after your insects comes the other insect i hope you can just identify that insect that organism sorry and that is your earthworm and your amoeba okay here yeah. if i just go through amoeba is unicellular organism okay these organisms when we talk of here yeah, the oxygen is directly taken from the surrounding here yeah, the oxygen and carbon dioxide diffuses in and out through their 
outer cell membrane of their body in the earthworms the skin is always moist as you all know so it helps in the exchange of gases i hope you all remember earthworms are also called the yes friend of farmers after the earthworm you can see the picture of a frog yes sir yeah when we talk of a frog frog is one of the organism which has got two ways of breathing one is lungs and the other one is your skin yes so they breathe like human beings with the help of lungs as well as they breathe with the help of skin these are considered to be amphibians since they are found both in water and on land maybe that is why they have dual mode of breathing they have a very soft and moist body so this supplies with the blood capillaries when they undergo the process of hibernation they take the oxygen with the help of their skin by diffusion these frogs they breathe through their gills when they are in the tadpole stage as you all know children these frogs they also undergo the process of metamorphosis where they are that means you can say the adult is totally different from that of an young one so during the tadpole stage they respire with the gills but once they mature they become a full grown frog they develop their lungs and they respire with the help of the lungs on the land after the frogs is the fish as you all know fishes are seen in water they are aquatic organisms so they take in the oxygen which is dissolved in the water and they give out carbon dioxide which is directly taken in the water so for this they have special organs for respiration which is called gills these gills are covered by an operculum and there are numerous thin filaments which are present inside the gills these filaments are surrounded by number of capillaries and the exchange of gases here takes place through these capillaries the function of operculum is to allow the water to enter and pass out of the gills and give oxygen and take in carbon dioxide and finally the water is passed out under the operculum after this comes one more living organism that we talk of is your plants so here when we talk of plants as children you all know these plants they also carry out various life processes such as growth transportation photosynthesis etc for which they also require energy 
so to obtain energy they also undergo respiration and when they undergo respiration each part of the plant respires individually so here when we talk of we know the roots they get the minerals and the water from the soil and this they utilize for the process of respiration further when we move to the leaves these leaves they have got stomata which help them in the process of photosynthesis as well as in the process of respiration since these stomata consist of two bean shaped cells which are called as the guard cells these allow them in the opening and closing of the stomatal pore and helps them to take in oxygen so children here you can see how the process of respiration is taking place in plants whereas children there are some woody stems they also have small openings on their barks and these are said to be your lenticles and these lenticles helps them in the process of breathing so children we will just go through the recap of the topic that we have taken today yes the breathing in other animals second was do all plants respire children before leaving the session i will just ask you to take out a pen and a notebook and answer these few questions first one you will just have to fill in fishes have dash to respire second one frogs have a dash mode of breathing next one the gills of fish are covered by the dash next one insects have dash for breathing next one earthworm respires with the help of dash next one the leaves have have dash which helps them in the process of respiration i hope we can discuss with the answers also so the first question was fishes have gills to respire second one the frogs have a dual mode of breathing next one the gills of the fish are covered by the operculum insects have spiracles for breathing earthworms breathe through their skin and the plants have stomata which help them in the process of respiration so children we are finishing up with the chapter today i hope it is clear it's an request from all of you to please go through all the videos once again so that the chapter is clear to you and in the next session we will again have the recap as well as the revision of the same chapter thank you sai ram